We're going to open up this service with prayer. Lord, we love you, Jesus. Lord, we love you, God. There's no one like you. Lord, we're so thankful, God, for the opportunity, Lord, to come into this house, to experience your presence, to know you the way we do, to know your name. There's no name above you, Jesus. Lord, you are worthy of all praise, God. There's no one like you. Lord, you are my deliverer. You are my provider. You are my healer, Jesus. Lord, you know my heart, and you have my best interest, God. You know me, Jesus. You guide my path, God. There's no one like you, Lord. You hung on a cross. You hung on a cross for my soul, God. You saved me for this day. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. There's no one like you, God. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Lord, I can never get enough of you, Lord. There's no one like you, God. Lord, your love is unfailing, God. You're so faithful, God, even when I'm not, Jesus. I don't deserve you. I don't deserve you, Jesus, but you died for me. You poured out your blood for me, God. You are worthy, Jesus. in this moment right now come on can you lift up your voices father we give your name the praise tonight and we give you all the glory we give you all the honor there's no one like you Jesus there's no one like you Jesus come on all over this place lift your voice lift your voice tell him how much you love him how much you adore him tell him how much you appreciate him Father, we give your name the praise tonight. For you are worthy, Lord. Hallelujah. Fade away. Every crown I laid at your feet, Jesus. No longer on display. Hearing your presence. Whoa. The heaven is trembling in all of your wonder. The kings and their are standing amazed hearing your prayers God we are undone hearing your presence hearing your presence heaven and earth they become one hearing your prayers hallelujah all things Your presence. Your presence, everything out before you. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on, lift your voice right here. Come on, lift your voice. Hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. 
fullness of joy, every fear suddenly wipe away. Bless you, Jesus. Here in your presence, all of my games now fade away. Every crown no longer on display. Here in your presence, come on, say, found in your hands, say, found in your hands, fullness. Every Suddenly wipe, it's wiped away here in your presence. Yes, Lord. All of my days. Hallelujah. Every crown no longer, no longer on display here in your presence. Oh.
You're in your presence. Give that to him. Hallelujah. 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 Psalms 27 and verse, verse 7 says this. Hear, O Lord, when I cry aloud. Be gracious to me and answer me. You have said, seek my face. And my heart says to you, your face, Lord, do I seek. Is there anybody's desire tonight? to seek the face of God. Ah, come on, don't give him that golf clap tonight. But lift on the My fa Your face will I seek tonight. I desire your glory tonight. Give us visitation of your spirit tonight. Will y'all do one more round of that? Wonderful, glorious. Will you sing one more? Hallelujah. Will you sing one more round of that? Wonderful. You're glorious. Come on, church. Let's linger for there a second. In every you way are, you are. Beautiful. Glory. Come on, lift your voice. Lift your voice. Matchless. In. Lift your voice. Say, wonderful. You're beautiful. Man. Glorious. Wonderful. Step out of your seat tonight, and will you just walk around and worship him a little bit? Get up, up get away from out of that chair tonight, and just, just give him a little bit of worship. Your face do I seek tonight. Your face do I seek tonight. Your face do I seek tonight. Oh. You 
Hallelujah. Now, will you just lift your voice? Lift your voice and, and cry out to him a little bit. If you're watching live tonight, the power and the Holy Ghost and the anointing that's here in this room is right there in your screen and right there in your living room. If you're here for the very first time, God is going to do something in your life. Before you walk out of these doors tonight, I prophesy over your life that you will never be the same ever again. Let's stay in this atmosphere. We want to remember Elizabeth Watson, Mikkel Bays, Brother B.J. Polly, our United States military, Brother Bruce Satchel, Shana Kur Karana, Erica Hobbs, Sister Linda Lunsford, our missionaries to Mexico, Brother and Sister Dross, and we also want to remember our president. Let's go before the Lord tonight. Lord Jesus, we evoke your presence in this place, God. God, we want visitation of you tonight. Everything that we've got to go through and everything that we've got to experience, when we step into your presence, when we begin to not seek your hand, but we begin to seek your face, something in the expanse of our world begins to change. Something in the expanse of my mind begins to change. So tonight, God, we come for no other reason, no other purpose than to seek your face, God. We pray for healing, miracles, signs, wonders in this atmosphere tonight, and we shall never be the same. Somebody shout in Jesus' name. Amen. Give him praise if you believe it. Hallelujah. Can you give the Lord the greatest praise you can give him? Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. If you lift your voice, you can clap your hands. Hallelujah. If you can't clap your hands, lift your voice. If you can't lift your voice, clap your hands. Clap your hands, all you people. And shout unto God. Shout unto God. Shout unto God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Reach deep down in your spirit and give God the best praise you can give him.
Amen. Let's give that to the Lord tonight. Hallelujah, God. We thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We want the ushers to come. Amen. It's time for the Sunday evening offering. It's so good to see everyone out here tonight. Amen. God of heaven, we're so thankful for your spirit, God, that we feel in this house. We're so thankful, God, for your blessings. God, we're thankful, God, for each and every member, God, each and every family, God, that's represented here today. God, we ask that you would bless this offering, God, that you would use it, God, that you would multiply it for your kingdom. God, we pray that you would bless every gift, bless every giver. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. You can be seated tonight. Isn't it good to be in the house of the Lord? Isn't it good to feel the Lord tonight like we feel Him? Amen. I, I want to sing an old song. It says, I'll stand for Jesus. Aren't you glad we can stand for the Lord tonight? Didn't our pastor teach a wonderful Sunday school lesson today? Well, most of us liked it anyhow, all right? He done a good job. Church, Jesus is coming. We got to be ready, and I want to thank the Lord for keeping his hand on me. I want to thank you for praying for me, because I'll tell you, God's been good to me. In the hospital, the doctor said, sir, I don't know how you made it this long. I said, I do. Sister Sowers, I do. Jesus is on our side tonight, amen. Worship the Lord with me. with pleasure I'll, I'll stand for Jesus there it is and let the world go by I'll claim his promise he will supply we'll walk with pleasures we're tempted and tried the more that we have here on the earth the less we're satisfied the only thing that's lasting coming down from on high I'll stand for Jesus and let the world go by I'll stand for Jesus and let the world go by. I'll claim his promise, he will supply. We'll walk together, the Lord and I. I'll stand for Jesus and let the world go by. 
when it's time to depart from this old body of mine. I don't want to own one single thing that I can't leave behind. I want to be free so I can sail through the skies. That's why I'm walking with Jesus and let the world go by. I'll stand for Jesus and let the world go by. I'll claim his promise, he will supply. We'll walk together, the Lord and I. I'll stand for Jesus and let the world go by. When it's time to depart from this old body of mine, I don't want to own one single thing I can't leave behind. I want to be free so I can sail through the skies. That's why I walk with Jesus and let the world go by. I'll stand for Jesus, let the world go by. I'll claim His promise, He will supply. We'll walk together, the Lord and I. I'll stand for Jesus and let the world go by. that came out this past Tuesday uh, to Chick-fil-A to help support Thailand. I want to thank, I don't see Tabby, but Tabby worked really hard and got that all of that put together. Um, the manager from Chick-fil-A was so excited. She said that she had never seen a turnout like that for Spirit Night. And she just went on and on and on about our people and how nice everybody was. And so I want to thank you and Sister Hall and Sister Sowards and Joey, I want to thank you and the people of Thailand, I'm sure, will say thank you. We're going to sing this song to God, um, and we're just going to tell him that he's welcome here. And I want to get to the point in my life where every day I can sing this song and it be true, that no matter where I go, that God feels welcome where I am. It doesn't matter who I'm with, that he can feel welcome there. And I think that's the goal that we should all have, and we should strive to be the person that God can always be with.
No place I'd rather be. No place I'd rather be. No place I'd rather be. And here in your love, here in your love. No place I'd rather be. No place I'd rather be. No place I'd rather be. Praise the Lord. Let's all stand. Tonight, from one end of the valley to the other, there are many people who are watching this service. The Lord spoke to us earlier this week that today was going to be a day of miracles. I feel a very special presence of the Lord in this house. I want you to reach and get a hold of somebody two or three, at least two of you together. There are those that need a miracle in their life. There are those who are just weary. They are just exhausted of things that they've been going through. The day McClure is at the hospice house with his mother, Nancy McClure. She needs a touch in her body. She needs a miracle. My sister Debbie's at home tonight. They're watching. She needs a miracle from the Lord. Sister White, Brother Joey White's wife, they're at home tonight. She's very, very sick. They need a miracle. Sister Payne needs a miracle. How many other knows people that needs a miracle? Amen. We're the people of God. God said that these signs would follow them that believe. They would pray for the sick and they'd recover. I want us to release our prayer in this place right now. That healing, virtue, and power of God would leave this building right now. The Holy Spirit can be there. He's already there in an instant. And I want you that are watching tonight to raise your hands right where you are. And I want you to begin to receive the prayer and the outpouring of faith from your brothers and sisters in this house right now. God, by the power and the authority of the Word of God, by the power and the authority of the Holy Ghost, God, that's in us, God, we pray the prayer of faith right now, God, in this sanctuary. Releasing, God, the Spirit. Releasing, God, the healer, God, to flow and move right now. God, into each living room. God, in each hospital room right now. God, there's nobody like you. There's nobody like you. Lord, you are the healer. You are the one, God, that made us and not we ourselves. God, we speak healing. We release healing. We pray blessing, God, right now, right now, right now, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. My Savior God to Thee How great Thou art Come on, keep worshiping Come on, keep worshiping How great Thou art Then sing God, 
to Thee. How great Thou art. How great Thou art. Then to thee. come into this sanctuary with us tonight I'd be standing I'd be spending the next few moments talking to him I just think we ought to let a praise let a worship let our adoration go up in this house tonight if you really believe he's here I'm not talking about just some cliche church stuff I, I'm talking about I believe the presence of the Lord has come into this house with us tonight we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. There's nobody like you. There's nobody like you, Jesus. to the praise. Oh, I wish there was some men that would get a hold of God right now. I need some men that can praise Him. I need a man that can worship God with everything you got right now. Come on, ladies. Show these men how to worship God. Come on, lady. Come on, sister. Jesus, shout with the voice of triumph. Shout with the voice of triumph. Jesus. Jesus, my healer, my redeemer, my way maker, my strength. 
my rock, my help, my strong tower. Nobody like you. I speak healing. I speak healing. I release it. I release it. Nobody like you. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You that's watching, you that's watching, don't be intimidated to raise your hands and raise your voices. Let the power of the Holy Ghost sweep that house. Wash us, cleanse us. Wash us with your blood. Let your blood, God, be on us. We plead the blood of Jesus over every demon, over every unbelieving spirit, over the lack of faith. God, I speak faith. God, release the supernatural in our midst, God. Come on, there's angels in here. There's angels in this house. Come on, speak it. Speak it. Release your faith. Release your faith. Release your faith. Don't hold back. Don't hold back. Hataya mo shataya. Hila da ya mo shataya. Jesus. 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 Jesus, 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 Jesus. conviction in this city. God, conviction, God, in our loved one's hearts. God, let there be a spiritual awakening, God, in each of us. God, in our families. God, in our jobs. We release it. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Come on, we need a Holy Ghost outpour in this house. Come on, some of you haven't prayed through in lots in a long time. Let your praise go. Let it go. Let it go. God, I choose to guide God. I surrender God to you. Jesus, Jesus. Come on, can you pray in the Holy Ghost? Come on, come on, we're apostolic. Let's be apostolic. Come on, 
Let the Holy Ghost flow through you. Come on, let the Spirit of God, let the Spirit of God pray. Hallelujah. God, I pray for the leaders in this church. God, I pray for all the pastors in this church. God, I pray for our missionaries around the world tonight, God. God, let there be a move of your spirit right now, God, in their lives, God. Hallelujah. There, there's some walls built up in some folks in here tonight that God wants you to take down. God's not going to take them down. You need to take them down. There's some walls some people need to take down tonight. There's some priorities that's been messed up in some people's lives tonight. You need to get it right. You need to get it right. Don't resist what God wants to do in your life. Come on, take those walls down. Come on, take the locks off. Come on, open your heart. God's standing at the door. He's knocking. He's knocking. He's knocking. Amen. If you'll hear His voice and open up, God will touch your life. Let God prove Himself to you. Put God first in your life. Put Him first in your life and watch what God will do. There's people that are struggling in their finances. Struggling in their business. But you don't put God first. You got to put Him first. You got to put Him first. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God, let Thy will be done. Let Thy will be done, God, on earth as it is in heaven. Let us find our steps. Let us find our steps, God, that you've ordered for us. God, let the kingdom of heaven come. Let the kingdom of God, God, come and operate in our midst right now. In the name of Jesus. God, I speak these seats full of hungry people. God, I speak them full of hungry people. God, you're working, you're drawing, God. God, send us laborers. Send us laborers, God. Send us laborers, God, into the fields. God, bring us laborers, God, into this house. God, send us workers, God, that have a passion for people. God, that have a desire for the work of God. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. 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 Lord, we yield. We yield, God, to your will in our lives. God, we want to be the church that you want us to be, not the church we want to be. The one you want us to be. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is a jealous God. He's a jealous God. He said, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. No other gods before me. God, forgive us our idolatry. God, forgive us, Lord, our lack of faithfulness. Forgive us, God, our lukewarmness, God. God, let something ignite within us tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.
Hallelujah. 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 Some of you in this room, you need a miracle of health. You need a miracle in your life. You don't understand why it hasn't happened. Don't resist what God's doing in your life. Praise Him in the midst of this storm. Worship Him in the midst of this storm. God, I shall come through. I shall come through this, God. I shall come through. God, anything in me, God, that's not been pleasing to you, God, I want it out of my life. I want it out of my life, God. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Bless the name, bless the name, bless the name. Hallelujah. 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 You're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, God, you're worthy. Hallelujah. I want the Thailand team to come stand in front of the pulpit tonight. Amen. I want the team going to Thailand to come stand in front of the pulpit tonight. Amen. Tiffany, you just keep on praying, baby. That's awesome. That is awesome, awesome, awesome. Just come stand. I want men and women of faith to gather around these. Just give them space. Just come over here. Just come over here and stand so there's a little more space. Sister Hall, Kelly, Sister Sauer, Brother Joe. I want everybody that's got faith to speak some things into their lives. They don't just, this is not just a trip. This is not R and R. There's a whole bunch of folks over there that need to be ministered to. And I want us to pray tonight that God will begin to speak and give them the direction and the words and the messages that they're going to have to share. Would you gather around? Come on, be bold. I want you to gather around. I want you to lay hands on them and pray. God's just taking over this service tonight in a different way. God, clarity, vision, focus.
Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Church, as I was standing here, God gave me a word for these poor people. Hallelujah. God said that each and every one of you are going to meet against something. Something's going to come against each and every one of you. That there are people and there are things in this world that do not want to see this trip happen or even succeed in what you're going there to do. But God told me not to fear, not to worry. Your steps have already been ordered. They've already been established. He is already there preparing and taking care of this. With this church's prayers, this trip is going to be a success. We are going to see great things that get birthed from this. Hallelujah. The church in Thailand is going to grow and is going to expand because of this trip and because of the prayer behind it. So I need each and every one in this church to just pray for this missions trip, that God will do his, way, his work that he is already there working on it and it's going to happen and it's going to be a blessing to those people yes. yes lord yes lord yes yes lord yes lord yes lord there can't be new birth without pain we don't want any pain. We want, we want new birth, but we don't want to go through the travail and the process. I believe tonight that the last few months, God has been putting us through the process for a new birth. I don't like the process. God, if it's possible, Lord, let the process come to an end. If it's possible, God, let the flames be turned down, God, that's been put under your people. God, if not, God, let us our, let our faith stay true. God, let our determination stay true. In Jesus' name, we shall come forth like gold tried in the fire. Would you raise your hand? Would you praise him with me right now? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I know that this is a giving church, and you give when you don't have it to give, and we're blessed because of it. We're a blessed church also, and um, I have a request that I, I want to ask. We've raised a lot of money, and when we get there, it's not necessarily, you know, we can scrape up the money to buy tickets and get there, but... The, it's a poor country. I'm not saying that to embarrass you, Sister Hall. It's a poor country. And until you go and you see how they live, everybody's trying anything they can do to survive. They cook and sell and they work. They work so hard to survive. And this conference, this lady, it's a ladies' conference, but they all come. The men come, everybody comes. And most of the people in the churches there, they, they don't have the money to come to this conference. 
They sacrifice to get there. And you think, well, you know, they can go to church. Why do they want a conference? It's a huge thing to them to be together because, you know, there's a Christian church on every corner here. There's Christians everywhere to fellowship with. It's not like that there. There's very few. It's a different kind of culture. And when they can come together from far away and fellowship with their brothers and sisters, it's an encouragement. It encourages them. It helps them. And they look forward to that all year long. They look forward to getting to spend some time together with their brothers and sisters in the Lord. And there are several that are actually in the church that do not have a Bible. I know we've bought a lot of Bibles for Kenya, but I want to ask if you can give a Bible. It's a little bit different. In Kenya, we can get them for $5. The Bibles that we get for there are more. They're like 20, about $24, $25 in American dollars to get a Bible. And I think they do that because they want to make it hard to get the Bible. But that's what it costs. But when you think about putting the Word of God in somebody's hand that doesn't have the Word of God, it's not really a big cost at all. But we want to give, and we don't really even know how many. I just, if the Lord, however many the Lord gives us money to buy and that people sacrifice, how many we can take, that's, how, that's the number because... I keep saying, Sister Paul, we need a number so we know how many, but we don't know how many we need. We don't know how many do not have a Bible. So however many we, the Bible money is designated, however many we get, that's how many we'll buy when we get there. So if you can do something, and I know we ask for a lot, but if you can, if you can buy a Bible or give towards buying a Bible, it'd be an awesome thing. And just continue to pray for us. Sometimes you think, you know, what difference is it going to make that we are there? But it, it does make a difference. They love it when we come. They love it when we teach them and help them. And um, you can see the work of missionaries. You know, Brother Cole basically and Sister Cole basically started this work many years ago. And you can see, you know, the generations coming down that are still serving the Lord and it's an awesome thing plus it's growing we're we're winning new babies to the Lord and it's an awesome thing and for Sister Hall's family to be coming in and serving the Lord and having their church to go to and this is a, a tribute to her she's a missionary God's used her and it hasn't happened overnight but many years of prayer and work and talking and teaching and God is doing great things in Thailand and you have to realize, you think of when they go to some of these countries and they have a huge crusade and there's thousands and thousands of people come. Some of these countries like Thailand and India, it's a different kind of thing because you're not only changing their religion, you're changing their tradition, their culture, their family traditions. Everything's different. The government is Buddhist there. Everything's different. So to chisel them out and bring them out from that and teach them about God is an amazing thing. When you, when you bring them out of that, it's a beautiful thing. And they, they make a true Christian. Once you get them, they're faithful. And I'm thankful for that. And I'm thankful for the liberty that we have here. If you ever have the opportunity to go to there or to India, it changes your life because you realize how blessed we are. We are blessed. Our country has its issues, but we are blessed. Amen. So anything you can do, if you, if you can give for a Bible, just whenever you put an offering in between now and then, just put Bibles for Thailand, and we'll get it there. Amen. Let's all stand. I think we could all get buy one. I think everybody could buy one Bible if we can, and we'll try to do that. And then Sister Hall will know the best way you to get them there or take them from here. We'll work all that out. God bless you tonight. I love you. Ask God to, to begin to reveal his will in your life. I don't want you just to exist in the kingdom. I want you to thrive in the kingdom. Amen.
And God is, God is working on us. And, and I want to stay soft and pliable. And the enemy will resist. He will resist. But God is greater. Greater is he that's in me than the spirit that's in this world. Amen. And he's, he's, the devil's a deceiver and a tormentor. And he wants to bring fear and doubt and unbelief. And we pray against that. Pray for each other. God bless you tonight. They've got food prepared. I, I, I love to preach. <laughs> but God is, God is wanting us to step into ministry. To when there are needs in our midst, nothing else matters. Jesus didn't preach until he took care of the needs of the people. Amen. When you're hurting, you need somebody to help you with that pain. Too many churches just come and they exist and they do their routine and, and people come sick and they leave sick and they, people come wounded and they, then they leave wounded. And I don't want that to be the thing here. I want this to be a place where we're sensitive to the needs of the body. Amen. Would you raise your hands with me tonight as we dismiss this service? Lord, thank you for your presence. I thank you, Lord, for your love that operates among us. I thank you, Lord, for greater unity, God, that I feel growing in our midst. God, I'm believing tonight, God, that men and women's lives were changed. I believe that healing has taken place. God, we look forward, God, to the reports, God, and, and to give you praise and glory, God, for all the great things that you do in our midst. God, I pray for our faith, God, that our faith fail not. God, I pray, God, that your spirit, God, as we begin to pray, God, that we would be sensitive to your voice and your call and your leading in our lives. God, again, I pray, God, that you send workers, send laborers. God, send us people, God, to help us, God, that love people. God, that will help people. God, that will have a heart for ministry. God, we give you praise. We give you glory. There is nobody like you. God, we are so blessed, God, that you called us out of darkness into this marvelous light. God, that you saw fit, God, that we could hear the story of the new birth. And God, that our sins, that they were red like scarlet, God, you, were, you washed them away, God, in the waters of baptism. We thank you, Lord, for filling us with your spirit. God, that hope of glory within us. God, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, amen. Hey, this is Chris Soward, Senior Pastor of The Open Door. Hope that you enjoyed watching the program today. We would like to take this time to invite you and your family to come and visit us at The Open Door. This is a place where the Word of God is preached without apology, and we are not intimidated to worship the Lord. If that appeals to you, come out and see us at The Open Door. God bless.